ChatGPT is not even two months old, but it has already sent shockwaves throughout the tech world. ChatGPT. 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 As it broke over 1 million users in just one week, and it's set to completely change how we use technology. It looks like OpenAI, the makers of ChatGPT, are on top of the world right now. But behind all this, another company you know very well has been waiting for this moment for years. As this will make them the real winners of the battle for AI and the billions of dollars that are at stake. Microsoft has been pulling the strings behind the scenes for years now. And they are about to announce a genius $10 billion deal with OpenAI that might end up being the tech deal of the century. And if they succeed, they will live in the dust companies like Google, the guys that basically invented the tech behind artificial intelligence. And speaking of Google, this is the very first time that anyone has a real chance of dethroning them as the kings of search. There are three main reasons why Microsoft is going from a boring company making spreadsheet software to running the world changing AI that will come in the next years. And ChatGPT is just a small piece of this puzzle. In 2019, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella decided to invest $1 billion in OpenAI, which at the time was just a small AI research laboratory. But things like ChatGPT or AI-generated art was still considered science fiction. No one could have predicted that in just three years we would reach the point where we are today, where the school system is scrambling to understand how to face AI. But these kind of technologies follow what is called hockey stick growth, where you see very small increments for years, which then compound and explode in a very short time. And this is what's happening now. But the genius part of the deal that Microsoft made with OpenAI in 2019 was that part of that $1 billion that Microsoft paid was in cloud credits. And this is the key to everything. To understand how important this is, you have to understand that the biggest cost of operating and running an AI model is the insane amount of computing power it requires. And it's no surprise that this is the largest expense that any AI company has. And guess who's the second largest supplier of cloud computing in the world? That's right. I think some of you are starting to get why this move was so genius. Basically, Microsoft said, hey, I'm going to give you all this money to take a piece of your cool company. But I also know that your biggest expense will be computing power. And guess who's going to provide you that? Also me. So basically, Microsoft was giving money to OpenAI to pay back Microsoft. This investment basically set Microsoft on an exclusive partnership with OpenAI and them being closer and closer over the years. And if you think this was an OP move, just wait until you hear what they are planning now. Just a few days ago, it was announced that Microsoft and OpenAI are reportedly working on a $10 billion deal. And if this goes through, it can very well be the single most genius tech deal in the history of tech. Because Microsoft is reportedly giving OpenAI $10 billion to get to own 49% of the whole company. And not only that, OpenAI will need to give Microsoft back 75% of their profits until they pay back the $10 billion. But then again, where is OpenAI gonna spend all this money? Well, for the most part, you guessed it, on Microsoft computing power. So why the hell would OpenAI agree to this? Well, first of all, it's gonna make their employees and founders a shit ton of money. But the other and more important reason is that while ChatGPT is the hottest thing in tech, it's burning cash at an incredible rate. Just to let you play with building rhymes on ChatGPT, OpenAI is spending $3 million in cloud computing every single day. Add everything up and they're likely to spend one to three billion dollars in cloud computing alone in the next year. This is already a killer deal for Microsoft and can already crown Satya Nadella as a genius. But it doesn't end here because the real plan hiding behind is that Microsoft and OpenAI want to build the foundations of artificial intelligence on which everyone else will build on. Imagine this as kind of a tower. ChatGPT, which has been sending the word in a frenzy, is just a front-end application, just a face for the key ingredient, which is the trained AI model. In the case of ChatGPT, it's a chat-based adaptation of a model called GPT 3.5, which stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer, which is also a very cool name for an indie pop rock band. And to make this all work, what you need is computing power, which in the case of OpenAI is kindly provided by Microsoft at the bottom of the tower. Since creating a new AI model from scratch is extremely expensive, many companies just prefer to pay OpenAI to use their existing models like GPT-3 through APIs. For example, the new AI writing feature is in Notion is powered by GPT, and so it indirectly runs on Microsoft servers. Now, expand this to thousands of companies and millions of AI 
interactions every single day, and this translates to billions of dollars in revenue for both OpenAI and Microsoft. But if this wasn't enough, for the first time in history, they get a once-in-a-lifetime ticket to challenge the dominion of the number one search engine. As soon as people started to play around with ChatGPT, the first thought was that it's gonna be the next Google killer. Now, Google is already dying. I even made a whole 16-minute video about it that you can watch here. And Microsoft did not waste time. They've already started integrating ChatGPT into their search engine Bing. Now, let's be clear here. Up until today, Bing has been basically a carbon copy of Google. Same layout, same principles, same everything. And they built their 9% market share simply by being the default browser on Windows. So their main contribution up until today was good memes. But this was not all in vain, because now that they have a seat at the table of search engines, they actually have a chance of bringing real innovation, something that didn't happen for 20 years. But simply throwing in ChatGPT into Bing is not possible. There are some key things that Microsoft needs to think about. First is bias and lawsuits. There are already countless examples of how ChatGPT and other AI models like Dolly produce results that may be racist or offensive or dangerous, as AI systems are only as good as the data that is used to train them. So rest assured, there will be flaws in the model. For example, if you ask Bing to recap the news of the day, surely some journalists will wonder if their article was created by by the AI to produce the results. And this is a legal show waiting to happen. And don't forget that Microsoft already tried to release an AI chatbot a few years ago, but it had to shut it down almost immediately because it got extra racist and inappropriate. Ouch. And then we have economics. The big problem of AI systems right now is that they are extremely expensive. A single response from ChatGPT costs a few cents in computational power, which is over a hundred times more than a traditional Google search. And both Google and Bing today make money on what is called pay-per-click, where advertisers pay the search engine some amount of money for each click they generate. But if an AI search engine will provide you the answer rather than a list of links on a page, this simply cannot happen. One way Microsoft can solve this is to build the first premium search engine, where you pay a monthly fee to access something that is just radically better. So now one question remains, why hasn't Google done anything about this? They've always been at the forefront of AI, but they haven't released any meaningful product based on AI that had an impact even remotely close to ChatGPT or Dolly too. And that's because, yeah, Google could go ahead and revamp their whole search experience with AI, but they have simply too much to lose. 58% of Google's revenue is made up of Google search, so taking this risk might end up being disastrous for them. But for Microsoft, on the other hand, Bing represents only 5% of all revenues, so their downside is limited, but the potential upside is incredibly high. So everything seems to be falling in the right place for Microsoft's master plan to take over the infrastructure of AI in the coming decade. But there is one thing that needs to happen for all of this to become a reality, and that is that models like GPT-3 stay defensible meaning that another company cannot replicate them easily. Because if this happens, every company will just build their own AI models instead of going to Microsoft. Nowadays, most of the AI applications that we are seeing are based somehow on infrastructure models like GPT. But we simply don't know if this will continue to be the trend in the future. 2023 will be an incredibly interesting year for AI. And for me, the coolest thing is that finally, 20 years later, Microsoft might have found a way to make a good version of Clippy. If you like this video, please consider consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me continue what I do and here is another one that you might enjoy.